uh, from Jamie, a wise and mighty lord of the multiverse. That is what is on my office and my studio door now, I think. I'm a single guy in my mid-20s who used to work as a writer, but I haven't had a steady job for over a year. Most of the freelancing gigs I got didn't pay nearly enough. So I started playing poker to pay the bills. Over the course of the last year, what started out as a short-term solution has gradually morphed into my full-time job. I go to the casino four days a week to play mid-stakes cash games. And after doing my taxes, I've actually discovered I'm making more money playing poker than I ever did as a writer. But I'm not happy. I don't feel as if I'm doing anything useful. Uh, The only human beings I speak to are my landlord and the guy who runs the poker room. Playing poker has taken a serious toll on my health. I've gained a lot of weight. I eat junk food. I rarely shave, and my apartment is a pigsty. Uh, I'd also like to get married at some point. No girl wants to go out with a guy who doesn't have a steady job. My question is, what do you think are the first steps to getting my life on track? Nobody really wants to hire a guy who has been out of the job market as long as I have. Um, If you have any suggestions, I'd appreciate hearing them. Uh, First of all, I think you're in trouble. You know, I think you should take stock here because I think you're in a, in actual trouble. I don't know if you're a gambling addict. I have no way of knowing that uh, whatsoever, but you are not living a good life. And this the thing is, as long as that life goes on, every day that it goes on will be a day that you can't get back when you will not be living the life that you were meant to live, that you were given when you were given life. You know, you you can get a job. I would get myself, just speaking for myself, I would get any job to get out of the poker racket. I would stop playing poker. I just stop, just completely. Because first of all, to test whether I'm addicted to it, if that's part of the problem, I would just stop playing poker. I would get myself a job. This is a great job market. People are hungry to hire people. You can move to find a job. You can find, you know, a job that ranging from a store clerk job to, uh, you know, yesterday I just saw a thing that where truck drivers are desperate to find truck drivers, all kinds of jobs out there now. This is a great market to find a job. Anything would be better than what you're doing now because you're destroying yourself and you're ruining, as you say yourself, you're ruining your chances for the future. Then, then start to make a plan. Start to make a plan. Writing is not a career plan. This is the career plan that I followed. I was out of my mind. And I am one of a number of people that's probably smaller than the number of Major League Baseball players who have done what I have done. Okay, so that's not a good plan. I'm not saying you can't do it. I'm just saying don't make that your plan. Make your plan to earn a living in a way that is good for you where you can also write and then write your way to the point where you're making a living and then you can leave the other job behind. That is the smartest way to do this. But get out of what you're doing now. You are really uh, hurting yourself and it's not it's not going to get better by itself. You have got to take this and do it. You know, get get yourself a job where you can eat and pay your rent and whatever it is and then start and then start the program of building a writing career. You know, that's that is how you do this and make your make your plan. But first, get out of what you're doing because you're destroying yourself. 